Another artist that uh, we've interviewed him once before and he's actually coming to Adelaide for the first time. Here we time. go, here we go. My man, my man, my boy. Lil Sick, yeah? Man, one I've been my... waiting to talk about Lil Sick, bro. Like, fuck, bro, it's been two hours, bro. Talk to me, brother. Talk to me. No. You know what I mean? Like, Lil Sick, like, dead ass, Lil Sick. So, I get it. Lil, Lil Sick's done some funny shit. Lil Sick's done this, this and that. Everybody misjudges him. You know what I mean? I know the questions you're going to ask. Trust me, I know the questions you're going to ask because I've been there. I asked him those questions myself, you know what I mean? But, like, when I saw the talent in him, I'm like, all right, cool. There's 25 million people in Australia, but there's billions of people in the world. Cool, let's market you worldwide because you have the vocal capacity to do and be great worldwide. You know what I mean? Like, let's just... You've done your funny shit. You've like we're gonna keep doing the funny shit. I'm not saying we're not stop. We're not stopping that shit because like trust me, we have got some funny songs, bro. Like we have got some sh some shit there that's in the in the bag, bro. That's literally just like oh my god, like yes. <laughs> anyway, but like we're taking the game serious, and I was able to. I tap into a genre that I was never able to tap in before because I've never had an artist to work with to tap into that genre with. And that is like the weekend R&B trap, you know, like real hard, like international, like worldwide fucking genre. You know what I mean? And um, uh, I've got, I've got a lot, I've got about 200 artists under my, uh, under my belt. I've got, I've got a lot of people to work with, but um. I'm not saying no, no one's more talented than anyone or anything like that. I, I, I value all of them. I value all of yous. you all in your lane. You're all doing great and everything. But like with me and Lil Sick just are tapping into some stuff. Like we've, we've been on, we were on talks to each other for about a year before we actually even met into what we were going to do. And like, oi. Our aim is to get Arias. Our aim is to take Australia international. It's not just to get like, you know, like, oh, let's make a record. No, 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 no. We, we're working on three albums, three separate albums, like uh, three different genres where I'm challenging myself and he's sitting there challenging me while I'm challenging him, right? And, and it's something that I'll... I'll never, for, I'll never forget, even though we're, we're, we're not even a quarter of the way of the process, you know what I mean? But um, it's, we're both challenging ourselves to push our boundaries in music towards those, those spots that are really gonna hit. And, and, and I, I, there's only so much that I can say right now. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm biting my tongue with a lot of things right now, but, Let's just say that there's three albums coming. There's 50 songs. 50. There's at least 12 songs completely finished and put in place. Um, we still have about a year's worth of work. Um, and like I've shown you a couple of things and it's incredible what we're doing. But Lil Six, not just like he gets misjudged a lot, but what he did, but what he did was great. He did what everyone else didn't. And he stood up there and he did what everyone else was fucking scared of. And you know what? I respect that. I value that. I cherish that. And I'll fucking stand there with him. You know what I mean? And I am proud to, to, uh, to sign Lil, uh, Lil Sick under me and co-sign with him on, on these three records. And we're... Try, we're like, out, sorry, we're not trying, we're actually going to make history in Australia with these three albums that we're doing. And lastly, um, arguably, I guess the biggest Australian artist that you've worked with is 360. Whew. Whew. Yeah. Now, as someone who's had studio sessions with him, um, tell us a little bit about that relationship, how it, you know, how it evolved. He's great. He's great. Is is uh, is a very beautiful human being, like absolute beautiful human being. That when he stepped into my booth and he, we gave him a he. We did two features with Melbourne, and he um, he just wanted to try a couple of things in my booth. <sighs> he 
He spat for six minutes straight. And we're just all sitting in the room like, what's going on? And I'm like stretching the beat, stretching the beat, stretching the beat. As he's still going and going and going and going. And I'm like, fuck, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? And I'm like stretching the beat, stretching and stretching. Add in two more minutes, add in two more minutes, add in two more minutes. And then all of a sudden I'm just like, and then he's done. I'm just like, wow. And it's like, ah, cool. Let's pick what we got to do. And I'm like, fuck. Like, bro, you literally just covered the entire hip hop genre in six minutes. It was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. Um, it was, it, it, that was the music side of things. Um, second side of things, he's a dog person. I fucking love that. I have two dogs myself, but I fucking, I love dogs. Um, <laughs> and, and, and absolutely the most humble guy I've ever met. Um, you can just, as a musician, as an empath, as a, as a, as a person that goes by energies, like, he, he, he was nothing but good. And then, like, the records that you have worked on with him, yep. which are the ones that it's, I said, I think you said it's him in Melbourne. Yep. There's uh, two records with Melbourne coming. There's more, there's more than that. I, I can't speak about it. I can't, uh, the, there's, uh, there's a thing that we call non-disclosure agreements, and I apologise for that, but um, I'm sorry I can't comment on it. Um, but those those two joints that, that you've got with 60 in Melbourne, is that the first time that you've worked with 60? Yes, it is. Um, we've been on the talks. He actually messaged me um, about a year ago asking me for a beat, and I was just like, what the fuck? Like, 360 is asking me for a beat. So I sent him a couple of beats, and he's like, yeah, they're, they're perfect, excellent. And um, you sat on them from... From, from since and um, you know he hasn't really dropped music in like say five years so I know, I know what he's going through I know his, his process he's, he's obviously work trying to find out where, where he's going to return from and um, obviously, like I said I, I'm not I can't really comment on it and it's not really my place and all that blah 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 but um, the, the comeback's coming and 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 three sixty is coming back, and 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 he has our support. The the, the last Oh yeah.